Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial of WP Phoenix. Well, in the first video of Will City, the director team from Team Forest, we went over the team, some of the aspects, some of the features. Uh, we actually talk about the uh, the page builder that this team has it in it, about the, um, the app that's coming soon for this team. But in this video, we're gonna be going to the back of the WordPress, we're gonna be installing the team. We're gonna be installing uh, the child team. We're gonna be importing the um, the demo, and we're gonna be taking a look to the um, to the features that this team has in the back. All right. With anything else to say, let's go to the back of the team. Here is my fresh installation from my WordPress. Let's click it on it. It's gonna take me in to the WordPress. First of all, let's get rid of everything. Let me double check that I actually got rid of everything, the extra pages, extra teams. I usually like to get rid of every single one of it if I'm not using it. So what's the point of having it if I'm not gonna use it? Like three or four teams activated at the same time. This is good for the CEO, post name. I like to keep it like this in the permanent links. All right, now that we have here, let's go to appearance, teams. Let's add a new team, upload, choose a file. Let's look for the Will City one. Will City is right here. There you go. Let's choose this one. Let's install. It's installing the team we're not gonna activate the team so let's return it why we're not activating the team because we're gonna activate the child team which comes with the world city 2 open the file is install it let's activate it first of all you got to make sure that you install all the plugins that are required for this team to work let's install the prepack ones that are recommended but the top ones that are required as you can see it the system will tell you which ones are recommended which ones are required the ones that are required you have to install it otherwise you're gonna end up having issues with it the ones that are recommended you don't really have to install it unless that you think that you're gonna use it like for instance Visual Composer I'm not gonna use it or King Composer I'm not gonna use it because I'm gonna be using elementor so i just i don't need to install those two all right let's click on install it's it's installing it's pretty fast the installation it's all done now we have to activate all of them just click and activate we don't need them all right, so now that we have done these things, let's take a look over here. Here we go. It's going to pop up this one. It's going to tell you which one do you want to install. I want to install Elementor, and I want to import everything. All right, so now that we have import everything, let's take a look. Everything has been imported. It will take you up to like a minute, the max to import uh, all the demos, all the files and everything, but make sure that you update your, um, your PHP max file, because if you don't do it, you're gonna have a lot of issues trying to import this uh, demo, right? It actually says in here, before updating the demo, we highly recommend to increase the upload max file size. All right, I have done that already. So everything was imported, like I said, let's take a look to the front of this website and here we go it looks beautiful just like the demo all right before we continue to explore this lovely team let's go to the back and i forgot to tell you guys that um you have to reset your um permanent links after importing the team just in case that something had happened 
all you gotta do is just post name and save changes all right well you save changes if there's any issue that you guys were having it it will go away so let's go to the front let's keep looking to it let's go back to the the team again let's take a look to the post let's view this post in another um, link here we go it looks beautiful it's so clean and uh, the greatest thing like I like I keep mentioning the same thing again and again it's that they're coming with more features to this thing like more options more sections here we go the top where it says we'll see the support forum we'll see the online docs it's a short code if you guys need help from it there are the two options that you guys have it let's close this one let's go take a look to the media library in the media library you have all of these beautiful pictures all right meaning that there are going to be a lot of pictures you're going to need uh, hosting to storage all the pictures and external storage let's call it like that for the pictures so they can all be saved in there and then um the the website won't slow down by all of these pictures the one that i have been using it it's cloudinary here is it there you have the plans of it it has a really good free plan you can always check it on it like i said it starts with free plus advanced and the custom this one is pretty funny actually the elephant <laughs> it's kind of cool i really like that image in it all right so here are the uh, the difference between the plans if you guys want to uh, take a look to it go ahead you're more than welcome to see it i'm just uh, sharing with you the ones that I'm, I'm using it let's go back to the the team now that we went over that one let's go to the pages here are all the pages that this team has it in it thank you thank you there you go let's go to the comments they're not comments at this time uh, the wheel look tool we're gonna be checking on the next video tutorial we're gonna be going in, in order to make sure that all the fields are covered by um, by my tutorials all right so this is it for this tutorial thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment uh, it actually helps me your feedback will be great uh, I will appreciate if you actually have the time to watch the videos meaning that um, I'm actually spending time to doing it and then that will be the best payback thanks again have a good day see you in the next one